All right, guys. So Tinley was, you know, the big cancel. So we real quick ran down here to Brian's. Check out the Reptarium opening. Um, this is Saturday, so it's the second day they're open. They have a lot of people here. We're gonna try to show you around, and show you the new stuff he's got going on, and uh, just amazing stuff going on. So check it out. One of the really great things you get to do when you're at the Reptarium is uh, handle some really cool animals. So they love uh, letting people do things with animals and get to interact with them and actually uh, hold some of them. This is Sunrise. She's a big albino berm and uh, beautiful snake, obviously. Very, very manageable and um, isn't trying to choke me. I know we did a, a video <laughs> Not that long ago, uh, actually in October, and so Ryan was holding the green anaconda, and you know, it was just hugging him, and <laughs> it was a pretty big snake. So she's beautiful and, and big and super nice. Um, you guys gotta come check out Brian's place with the expansion. He has just a ton of really cool animals, and uh, she's very inquisitive and uh, just beautiful. We love big snakes. We're here with Jay, and he does, he does all the video for Brian That's here correct. at BHB in the Reptarium. Absolutely. And uh, we're going to pick his brain because we love the footage that we see that he's putting out. Oh, thank you. And uh, it's sort of a real art form that people kind of don't know about. They're, they're in the reptiles, they yeah. want to be able to get their stuff out there, but they don't know how to really to do that. So if you could give them a couple of tips. Awesome. So, yeah, I mean, stories are everywhere. You know, I know it seems crazy, but I mean, going to the laundromat is honestly a story in itself. It's all how you tell it. So finding creative ways to take the mundane things in life, like cleaning snake racks or, you know, if you're pulling eggs or something, finding a way to take that and turn it into a story, add drama to it, find a way to make it, um, find a way to make it kind of sensational, right? So. I, I have to go to the store to grab vermiculite because if I don't get it, these eggs are gonna dry out. Rather than right. I'm just going to the store to get it, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. you create stories out of everything that's going on and uh, and just be consistent. Always film, keep keep getting better, learning, all that stuff. I think those, those two tips honestly will get you to where you want to be with your filming and also with your storytelling very quickly, for that's sure. That's awesome. Yeah. And how did you get hooked up with Brian to begin with? Yeah, so um, I'm from New Jersey originally. Lived there for yeah. 25 years. Yeah, New Jersey. Jersey oh, right that's, my, that's right, Thomas <laughs> River. Um, so I lived there for 25 years of my life. I've moved to Florida. Honestly, not that much of a fan. Love the people, but I just wasn't a fan of like the environment, I guess. It was a little too warm and stuff like that. But now I live in Florida 24 seven, so it's kind of crazy. But um, while I was down there, I seen that Brian was coming down to Gatorland and I always wanted to meet him. I watched him for, you know, six years before uh, seeing him. Oh, I'm in ruining it, I'm ruining it. <laughs> <laughs> I watched him for like six years before actually getting to see him in person. So when he was coming there, I knew I had to jump on the opportunity to meet him. Well, as you know, it the day before he uh, came down there, he said he was looking for a filmer and it was more for the bigger stuff, like going to Africa or something like that. And I was like, I have to find a way to do this. So I uh, met up with him at Gatorland. I'm, Hi. Hi. Yeah, you're good. Hi. <laughs> Learning your thing. No, it's fine. <laughs> so when I actually got the chance to meet up with him at Gatorland, I knew he was looking for a filmer. I knew I had to find a way in. So I talked to him about how passionate I am for one, the animals, two, you know, I've looked up to Brian for years, so, uh, you know, kind of showed him that, you know, I've actually, obviously watched his stuff, I know what it looks like, what he wants, what he's expecting, yeah. and uh, told him that I would work myself to the bone for him, and I, I do, and uh, he flew me out here, so I stayed for a week, I just kind of showed him what I had to work with, and to be honest, I never really filmed much before, I've taken photos for a long time, but I never really filmed anything, so, it was uh, definitely like I was kind of scrambling, like, all right, learn as much as I can, but in the week before I had to go there. Right. And then I came out here and he liked, you know, I think more so my personality. And he knew that, you know, that's, you know, it's, it's hard to find somebody that you get along with more so than to find someone with skill, you know? Right so um, he's allowed me the opportunity to grow and become better. And I mean, I do this every day now. So, you know, I've only actually been 
using a camera for two years, so next wow. five years should be pretty crazy. I'm excited for it. That's amazing. For sure, yeah, absolutely. Dude, you're man. killing it too, man. The, Thanks, the man. quality of the footage that's coming out now is really awesome, so that's great. I'm, I'm trying my best, and uh, I'm, we're excited. We're actually trying to plan something. I'm like, I can't give it away, but we're trying to plan something cool for, for the next season of uh, me being part of this. So right. we're trying to get a couple more things going and a couple things in the mix, so stay tuned for all that stuff. Yeah, man. For sure. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> brother. I appreciate yeah, it. Of course, man. Of course. Thank you, guys. I have an albino Nile monitor, which is amazing. Super chill, as long as you calm her down after you get her out of the cage. But yeah. I, hon I honestly, I, like, honestly, he's calmed down a lot since then, but like, uh, originally, he used to be picky, but he couldn't even get close to him. I saw the videos. <laughs> it's amazing. We've uh, dealt with a couple. Where are you going? Uh, with a couple. Fantastic. Hi. No. I <laughs> a couple babies that were pretty well behaved, but yeah. He actually was pretty well behaved when we first got him too, like when he was just pink, with like raw chicken. But we were, because unfortunately it was before I was really like more full time working here. Yeah. Um, we just didn't have anybody that was there to really do anything with him. So like he was just this animal that was in the cage for a long time. Like he was getting fed fine and, and, and everything else. Just wasn't interacted with. Yeah. So a large, so a large part of what we were trying to do here is we wanted to make sure like you know, okay, well we wanted to be a, like Ubusuku. You know, like we want him to sort of sort of be that animal that you can sort of like grab in his face and stuff and not get not be afraid of a nip or a bite. You know. You can definitely tell you put in a lot of work with him. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Like uh, he's he's my boy, and I love him to death. He's a really beautiful animal. I every time I see him, I see new colors. I see new like reds and pinks and oranges and yellows. All these beautiful colors he's got around him. You know, you know he's shedding a little bit around the face, but God, he's such a beautiful, beautiful animal. Absolutely. Man. And then, how many of these do you, any idea how many albinos are around? So I think like, like seven or eight. Yeah? Um, like, uh, as far as like the, the actual, like, uh, like, like how, how, uh, uh, these guys are actually presented, most of them are in private keep, private keep. Mm -hmm. So this guy, um, is probably one of the very few, if not the only one that's actually been, like presented like this and sh shown in an open space yeah, where you can bring him out and let people hold him and see him. Yeah. That's um, amazing. Same thing goes for Ubusuku. She's another one that I, I, I like uh, yesterday, we were just, uh, everybody I had holding her like a puppy. Like, she's just a big, big bear, you know? Yeah. And uh, hopefully he'll actually get to that point too. I mean, uh, I'll just pull Ubusuku out for you guys in a bit and let you guys hold her. That'll be awesome. That's so cool. You gotta get in real close. So, so you yeah. guys, if you guys have ever seen like a white lip python, it's so cool. But you see the lines on his face, like right here. I swear it looks just like a white lip python to me. Like, it, like if you like, I don't know. Maybe if you were to look at the albinos that that Kevin has, it yeah, might be very mm -hmm. similar. It's just beautiful, because especially how it turns pink like that, man. That's just yeah, yeah, cool. That's awesome. Wow. This is Phil from Parallel Reptiles. Hey you having fun? Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> Just showed up. <laughs> Fashionably late. Yeah, yeah. That's a nice shirt. I had to, you know, man, look at that. Only the best. <laughs> you guys have a new shirt too. Yeah, man. Take me to your breeder. That's awesome. Yes, we do Great our design. best. Great design. Thank you. <laughs> Brainchild of her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brains of the operation. <laughs> Highline Ripa. You got it. Follow them on Instagram yeah, and check us out on Instagram. Guys. Check out their new YouTube channel. They're about to start any day now. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Someday we'll One get around day. to all that stuff. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You can Are hold we on? We're on. This is the opposite of what we just had. This is a melanistic now monitor. And this is a, what is it, boy? It's a girl. Girl? Fina. Big girl. And man, she knows how to hug. <laughs> she is beautiful. Ryan, can you turn so that we don't see your face and we only see her face? We can. 
she, she's a good girl. Like even uh, yeah, a lot of work. Like you can even touch her face. She's not gonna do anything. She's a good girl. That's awesome. awesome you don't see a lot of Niles that you can look do this with. Yeah, you ain't lying. Look at, look at this. Especially <laughs> the way this one was when we first got it. That's awesome. I remember watching the videos, man. I remember I, the last time we were here, we helped. Did you guys yeah. ever see the um, the original trio we had? A long time ago. Yeah, so when we had the original trio, obviously when they went on the breeder loan or whatever, obviously you can tell she's been bred or whatever, or attempted to. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, like apparently the guy that had them had drugs other two pass on, you know. So like, uh, so like basically when she came back, she was just menace, like would not like she was a menace when we first had her, but man, she just tried, like, completely turned over a whole other leaf of like anger, and it just got to a point we couldn't even open the cage while they're coming out 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 at you and come wow. charging you. So like like you know eventually what happened was it started getting the snake cooked out and just started pushing her out of the water bowl or whatever so I could clean things yeah. and like uh, and and it got to the point where I didn't even have to push her anymore she saw that the snake cook and immediately knew that meant to get out of the water and she would get out okay. and and so like when I saw that happen I had talked to Brian about it I was like dude like you know it's kind of like she seems to be kind of picking things up do you think we should try you know ball training like we do all of this and I'll do other all wanderers here and he's just mm -hmm. like if you want to try it go ahead and I was just like yeah dude I'll do it right so like uh, you know I just started pulling her out started doing it started doing the exact same way we did with every other animal here and it, it just took no time at all she figured it out quick and then and then I was just like I kept pushing my luck more and more and I keep pushing my luck more yeah. and more and, and this is this is where I got you know like awesome, uh, at least so far super smart animal and uh very dedicated uh, trainer, I guess is oh, what you yeah. would say. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, I mean, I, I certainly love it, you know. That's awesome, man. It's working on you. It's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, of course. So, yeah. so, we're here with KB Reptiles. We just bought the fish spa. So you have fish that nibble on your feet. Do you do you have to take your pants off or is it just roll up? Roll them up. Ah. No, no, take them off. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, now we're going to ask some... <laughs> it right. feels real funny. All right, uh, this, yeah, this is exactly <laughs> what I thought it was going to feel like. And it's... Yeah. Woo. It's uh, cool and it's... Yeah, it's just like... like yeah, it's kind of like... It's not bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, you can get in here, Ryan. So... <coughs> Hold on, hold on. So hold on, let me say something too because I was just mentally preparing and I haven't even said anything yet. You guys know him, you guys love him. R&B Reptiles, Ben, Ryan, Ryan's behind the camera of course. We got suckered into doing this. I promise I'm here. Alright, so uh, Ryan, are you uh, able to hear us? I know it's loud. I can hear you. So who's your favorite Canadian breeder? Oh, we'll just ask these real crazy. Real quick, I want, I want everybody to be like, oh so, my goodness, you know I can't what? believe you. The person that we came closest to, probably in this hobby right now, I gotta say, is Will Moreau's Royal Canadian Reptiles. I love what he does. I love his personality. I love his animals. I've been to his place. He's helped us. Phone calls, everything. I've gotta say, Will Royal Canadian. All right, that's fine, and that doesn't mean that you don't love all the. I other love ones. it. Hey, he's the only he's the only breeder that we know in Canada. We host the Canadian just Reptile Expo, and I'm kidding, telling you right kidding. now, you guys know. Me. <laughs> yeah. I was just no, joking. you know what we host? Joking. I love everybody. There's a lot of great guys that came here, but I gotta say, well. oh, that's awesome. I think a few of your fish are dying. I don't know what's going on yeah, down there. Yeah, like they're going belly up. For sure. <laughs> all right, your turn. You can ask me okay. a hard question. Um. What's a nice tough question for you here? What is your favorite animal that you're currently breeding? Favorite animal that we're currently breeding? So um, I think the the stuff that I'm really am really getting more and more into the uh, old world rat snakes, Asian rat nice. snakes. Um, so <laughs> we were just talking to Robin Marklin earlier. And I like the Latticinctus. Um, they're really cool. I yep. think they're fun. They're not the, the craziest or anything like that, but I think that they're just fun. And uh, so these, the, the cocci that we have, they, we were talking about it, they like quadrupled clutch every year. So they can have four clutches or more. Some of them, so the record I'm told is like nine clutches in one year. And so how big are they? So, like now, how many? How many? Oh, like six things? to ten, maybe oh, something wow. like that. Um, production. Yeah. So imagine, you know, even seven clutches is like not crazy, crazy. Yeah. But you're getting five probably on the average. Wow. And these are some awesome animals. Um, I think they're real fun. 
<laughs> well, I think they're real fun. Ooh. And um, not really. It's just I, know, I, I think that's one of the, the fun no, projects we're working with is you know like the, eight, the old world rod sticks that we got. Bruce projects. thinks Ben is stupid. See now look, yeah, here's I a do. problem. <laughs> Bruce and I had this conversation yesterday. You have now ruined it. We said we will not take off our socks and put our feet in this water and do this. I wanted you to put my, me do it. I wanted yeah. to put my head in there, but Lori said I, I'm not allowed. Well, people's feet been in there. <laughs> you, I just watched a video about the about the. Uh, Filtration system and stuff, and I was, you know, believing it. He's gonna test it. <laughs> so, Dude, hey, you know what? I love Steve Bashi to death, but I don't want to trust him. Well, all right. So maybe I don't want to put my whole head in there. But I wonder what they would do to the beards. I know. I was thinking it'd be funny if they yeah. come out and they're all yeah, stuck in the beard. beard. Yeah. yeah. Well, when you pull it out, there will literally be 20 fish yeah, inside your beard. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be funny. Okay. So I need another question. All right. Yeah. Your question. Okay. Um, if you could. Uh, work with one species that Brian has here, what would it be? Oh, man. That's a good one. I, I can answer that. Okay, let's see. Let, what does Carrie have to say? All right. So I would say that if I was going to work with one... Okay, it's actually a tough question. Actually, you answer it. <laughs> <laughs> if you answered it, I was going to... If yeah. you answered it, I was going to... That's horrible. Out your I was there. off the spot, not back on the spot. Um, I, bell space. Yeah, you know what? That's... Yeah. <laughs> That's that? sick too. You know what though? Um, what's the one he just got in downstairs? Um, the yes. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. That's so, it right there. Yeah. I, I mean, the bones are unbelievable. We, yeah. we talk about them all the time. It's definitely a, a bucket list animal yeah. for us. Mangrove too. Oh, I saw those mangroves. Uh, in there. Oh, man. How do you How do you pick one? Yeah, it's hard to pick one. The and the there. divergence are two of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, um, it's a hard. It's a tough one. That was a tough. Question, man. Yeah, I try. I'm just I was gonna ask you what's your favorite like style of beard. And you're asking me all these harder questions. <laughs> crazy, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Okay, let me see. Let me get one for you here. Um, favorite reptile expo you've been to, whether it was for the travel, whether it was for the animals. What's one that you remember that sticks out so far? I'm um, only asking because obviously with this Tinley being yeah, yeah. canceled. Let's talk about the expo for a second. What one you really like? Um, I guess my favorite. So I, I've been to a few. I haven't been to all of them. I really yeah. want to do Pomona. We haven't done that. We haven't done Arlington. There's there's a bunch out there that I haven't done. Yeah. Um, probably, you know, it's funny. I would say, I'd have to say Tinley is probably my favorite, but it wouldn't be every single year. There's, there's a few that like really stand out. Um, we've had a few years where we're there, we're there with Brian and just having a crazy time and you see and we have a ton of stories and there's there's people and I can't call out any yeah. anyone yeah. I won't mention any one of them Dave Levinson at all <laughs> but if I had to mention Dave. somebody it would wouldn't be da it would be Dave Levinson yeah. but there's so there's people that you just really remember it's great to connect aside from just the fun of it yeah uh, you know even with it being canceled you know we're hanging out with uh, ben Cole and there there's just like people that are huge amazing pillars in our community and in our hobby and our industry that you get to actually interact with um, we had dinner with Justin Gabelka and you know just getting to pick his brain on oh what's this morph what's going on with that and just sitting around hanging out with you don't See, I now think that's one one thing about this was a bit of a trick question because if you remember we met at the CRVE in Canada I, I first time I we met forget that yeah I wow. thought you were gonna say that one Carrie <laughs> log over <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't we didn't actually meet at the CR that was the all it was an animal expo no, it was a CRB. CRB, that was where the Brian CRB. was doing yeah. the interview, and yeah, then yeah, you yeah. came around. Oh, that was, the, oh, yeah. yeah, we talked about blue tongues and beards. That's true, we did. That was a CRB album. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, Brian yeah, asked me to go up to that, like, the night before, and I just drove up through the night and made it there in the hey, morning, no sleep. We are glad like, that you did, because that started a whole craze for us. Yeah, you know, one of the it was awesome. It started, yeah. And we're like, I was like, oh, you should go to Tinley. You guys were there. We like, were there. Unbelievable. We were there. Yeah, it was great. We really appreciate it. So my question to close it out is, uh, when are you coming to New Jersey? I mean, really, that's, yes. that's the real question. That's the question that everybody wants to hear the answer to. Yeah. So, um, it's hard because now with the Tinley being rescheduled for June, uh, we have the CRVE in September. Um, I would say, what are, we, what are we thinking, Gary, before June? 
I would say before the I'd say before the CRB. So before, so let's hope let's hope before so CRB in September. Let's hope before September. We'd love to do okay. it. I'd love to yeah, come we, out and see the so we'll we'll plan. We'll set up so it wouldn't be just so you're coming to see us, but we'll set up. You know, go see a whole yeah, bunch of people. Yeah, let's go see some people for sure. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, we'll we'll hit some some fun breeders like we have John Danner from Danner Constrictors. Yeah, he's, uh, he's yeah. hanging out. Guys. He's riding with us. He has a, a real fun collection. You guys would love to see. And yeah. who? Powerline. Powerline's down in North Carolina. They're in North Carolina. Okay. But uh, yeah, we would we would love to show yeah. you. Yeah, you know what? I think ride. that's a great idea. Yeah, well, let's do it. Thank so, you very much. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey guys, R and B reptiles. Yeah. check them out. KB reptiles. Where is it? Check them out. I'm not with Venom Life, I know, but... Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, awesome people. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Thanks, guys. So this is Salt. She's way bigger than the last time we held her, just even in October. We, um, we might be steroiding our rats, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. And again, I mean, just unbelievable to, to be able to have one just so young um, act this way. It's just... It's unbelievable. I mean, like honestly, like there, I mean, there, there, are, there are twos and pros with it. Like everything, as you know, you know, yeah. like, uh, like we have times where, like, she's, like she's, she's an absolute babe, just like she's here. And then yeah. other times where, like, even with the touching, like where we do the signal to her to, to, to still, I've, I've, I've done that before, and she nipped me right away. <laughs> and, and so those things happen. But the funny thing is, yeah. like, I did this in front of kids, and, and these kids didn't even know what happened. Like I was just like. <sighs> It's okay. <laughs> Put on a smiley face, guys. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, I, yeah, it's I mean, still an animal. I mean, and you never know what's going to happen with when you deal with live animals. And I think that um, teaching people about that there is consequences, I guess, and that anything with a mouth can bite and things yeah. like that. But with the right training and the right amount of care and what you guys do, you can end up with. Uh, Really well-behaved animals. Yeah, I mean, completely, dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I, really and truly, too. It, it's always been the same thing with any animal, not just alligators, but any animal. Complacency kills. Yeah. You sit there and do it. You do the same thing over and over again, and you just get relaxed, and, and, and you do, and you start getting lazy with something, and that's exactly what probably led to that fight. It was me yeah. probably doing something that I just was maybe just doing it a little like half, half footage. Yeah. You know, and I just say it's just not, not the right thing to do with these animals. You got to respect them, and you got to be willing to actually like do everything the right way every time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know these guys when, and we think about it like when we're working with animals like oh man all right, I worked with ten animals today I got to work with you know twenty tomorrow and we're just doing going through it these guys don't know that yeah they know yeah. oh he worked with me for ten minutes today and that's it like so they are they're they're individuals and then you got to treat them like that as well you know it's not just the whole group but and each honestly individual. and honestly especially with like you know my job here and everything like uh, it's it that's an important how you said how you actually play, put that out is exactly important how how i go about that yeah it's like i need to look at it like what is this what is my time individually with this specific animal am i right. spending 10 15 minutes or am i spending a solid hour with it working with it trying to get it to work with me yeah you know am i willing to read it or am i willing to just force it into a situation that doesn't want to be in you know what i mean that's the yeah. other part of it as well absolutely well beautiful animal uh yeah, man. Really cool. I mean, you can't do it. Yeah, you can't, you can't do this it. anywhere. So it's wild. Well, oh yeah, dude. Here, I'll Thanks, take her man. back, and I'll let other people get a chance to, to see her and hold her. And All right, so we're here with Brian. You know, he, we got to see him for one minute. I told yeah, him at least just one busy, minute. It's been, been a busy day. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> he doesn't return my text like any time this week. It's been crazy, go nuts. Been nuts. Um, yeah, I, I apologize. But, no, 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 no. It's not a big deal. So, how did it turn out? What do you think? It was, uh, you know. It, it's it's hard to kind of put it into words because the emotion behind it. You know, when you, you have funny. like <laughs> you have like the vision, and, and then you work hard towards it, and you know you're building and you're planning, and some things are working out really good, some yeah. things aren't working out really good, and in the end, here we are. You know, yeah. and, and so many people came out to support you guys, obviously, um, people from all over the place, and it, it was uh, it was beyond my wildest expectations, and uh, I'm just saying. Yeah. So thankful that I get to do what I love every day and share it like I did this weekend. It's pretty yeah. awesome. So we, I mean, everybody in the world, we're all you know following the evolution of what you've done, and just to come and see it, it's just it's awesome. We we can tell like how much you actually put in and the, the amount of work that really went into it. Just we we don't even get to see a portion of what you put into it, but when you're here and you see it, it's just it's well, awesome. And, and you're doing something that. You know, like, it's a dream for many, many people. It's I mean, awesome. It's a dream for me. I mean, this is, this is like you said, the evolution. This is my evolution. Yeah. You know, this is what I want to do with my life. This is what I want to do more of with my life. Because, uh, 
you know, being able to share these animals and the experiences and getting people over their fears and people that love animals being able to experience animals they can only experience at certain places, that's what it's about. And uh, this is just the beginning, man. Oh, that's great, man. Well, thank you again for Thanks having us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll be in touch, I'm sure. Thank you. When it slows down, it's never going to happen. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. We'll make sure to put your links in the description because I know you got to get out there. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We'll help you out. Yeah, put the link. <laughs> Hit the like, subscribe, uh, turn the post notifications on. Uh, you know. <laughs> so, guys, thank you for uh, yeah, do all that stuff and uh, make it a great day. <laughs>